Hey there everyone, this is Dries doing a quick demo of Smart Log, which I think is the coolest tool Checkpoint has ever developed. Um, you know, it's version one, and for version one, blows my socks off, okay? There are some problems with it that I'm talking to developers on, Duty, great job, Duty, that they're eventually gonna fix, but it, it's just amazing, okay? Basically, Smart Log is gonna be a replacement for Tracker, and it's kind of like a Google-like interface to Tracker. Um, super fast. I've used it on databases with 1.2 billion plus records in it. Um, it really does an amazing job. So here's the quick overview. Um, so what you have here is you have a uh, version of Smart Log. This is the demo version, okay? And the first thing I want to point out is the query syntax. This will be your guide to typing in the queries. So that's right over here. I just clicked on it. And here are all your query syntaxes. Now, 90% of the time, the syn number one, you can just type in regular characters just at the string. Like I could type in Richard here. So I'll type in Richard. There's probably nothing there, right? And there's no results, okay? So you can type in just blank queries like this. So it's kind of like Google that it'll just search the index looking for anything with that string. Notice how fast it is. Um, like if there's a billion queries, it might take eh, one point about, I don't know, 15 seconds, 10 seconds, something like that. Uh, so that's the first set of queries you can type in. Um, what else do they got? They also have numeric ranges. No, most of the time, what I do is I type in times. And so for times, you can type in things like uh, last 12 hours, okay? Like I said, this is a demo version, so you don't always get results. Um, for the demo version, this is what I do a lot of. I do it times like this where you specify the date and you specify the time. So let's see what this returns. I don't know if I have any data to back it up. Yeah, there we go. So there you get some data and it comes back pretty fast. So that's the queries. Um, a lot of things I put in, like if I'm looking for um, um, failover the, from the night before, I type in control uh, type type of log control okay and once again it's uh, it's a uh, uh, demo demo software so I don't have all the data inside of it now once you get this information once you get your, this information what do you do with it now first thing you should do is so the first thing you should do is go up to the view menu go to initial log results and click a thousand otherwise the default will be 50 so that what that does it'll return a thousand records or by default it's like 10 seconds worth of search time like for example when this thing is cranking like this it's going to search for a thousand records or when you click on these things you notice it's calculating it'll search for 10 seconds so you're not going to get back excuse me all the records you're going to get just back 10 seconds or 1000 now, if you want more than a thousand, now once again, this is a demo, so I don't have enough records in it, but I've worked in databases up to 1.2 billion. Um, what you have to do is you have to scroll down, scroll down here, and then it'll get the next thousand, and the next, and the next, and all the way up to 10,000. Unfortunately, the GUI only gives you back 10,000, but there are more results in there. So, that's the first way to get results. Now, the next thing you got to look at is how many. Well, what you do is you hoover your mouse hover 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 your mouse over these items here and it'll tell you how many results it got back in the 10 seconds okay and then you can hover your mouse over the, <clears throat> the percentage and you'll see how many entries there are now I'm a little hesitant to say these counts are accurate I've been working with the developers trying to debug this um, so you're gonna have to kind of figure that out on your own until I can say for sure whether they're accurate or not I'm going in, I'm dumping smart logs and doing f -graps and counting and so anyways, different topic. Now, right now this searches for 10 seconds. You can go into the smart logs uh, settings file and change that to, I have it set to 100 seconds. So I get like 100 seconds of return or to whatever you want. Now it, I've set it to like 900 and it's blown up. So just uh, heads up that there is some limit to it. And that's what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, let's see what else. So, um, those are the query syntax. Okay, so 
when you click on one you get the exact same results as you do in smart view tracker when you do a right click you can also choose the columns like for example if you want to know what the rule is oops put the rule what application impacts once again also like smart view tracker very cool now you can also export these results so there is an export where is it export right here you can excel export to an excel uh, csv but heads up you can only export as many records as you've pulled down here on the right hand side so remember the max is 10,000 right now which hopefully they'll change so you'll have to pull down 10 times if you have this set to look view initial results a thousand and then you'll get 10,000 results and then you can export it another small problem is they don't export the, the seconds only the minutes which I thought was a little weird but they're gonna fix that in uh, the upcoming releases uh, so now let's look at some of these queries what kind of queries we can do now most of the queries I do are time-based okay so I look at I'm looking at July here so I'm just gonna say you know at the most simple you can do give me give me today right uh, no we don't have it today so give me do I have any July ones yeah here's a July one give me a July one oops okay so there's a July one and then you can specify the time by doing uh, 00, zero colon zero, zero, colon zero, zero, 002 and you can right click and say add to filter like that oh sorry okay those are two times that it can return or you can do a dash is what I was going for what did I do wrong oh <laughs> rid of this time sorry and make typing in the query wrong that should do it there you go yep so you can do a range of times and so that's the one I probably use the most uh, so you can also extend that to say okay and LDAP for example okay and you can do and LDAP I'm just making this up as I go and LDAP or um, 10 dot oops Ten, uh, can we do an add here add to filter you can do an or like that get rid of the dust and there you go okay LDAP with this and or this okay So if you like this query, they have a favorites bar. If you're going to do it a lot, you can say this is my LDAP query or whatever. LDAP, put it into my favorites so that you can pull back that query. And they had that also in Smart View Tracker. Okay. So once again, I tested this with 1.2 billion records. I filled up the disk and it does in fact delete the oldest files on the disk, which is nice. So um, you'll lose your oldest records first. So that's my review of Smart Log, which I think is the greatest product checkpoints ever put out. Um, and if you have any comments, like to hear them, and hope to see you soon. Have a great day. Dries, signing out. Peace out, LA.